area. Leukocoria or amarotic cat's eye is a white reflex in the pupil. There are two important points which you should remember here. Number one is whenever we use the term leukocoria or amarotic cat's eye, we always refer to its occurrence in children. Second, when we say white reflex, there is no actual reflex pathway involved. It simply means a white colored pupil. The two causes of leukocoria are retinoblastoma and the pseudogliomas. Retinoblastoma is the most important cause of leukocoria. This is because among all the causes, this is the only one which is malignant and therefore can be fatal if not treated. All other causes of leukocoria other than retinoblastoma are termed pseudogliomas. This terminology is used because retinoblastoma is a true glioma. Since all the other conditions are not gliomas but a differential diagnosis of retinoblastoma, they are collectively termed pseudogliomas. Leukocoria, retinoblastoma and pseudogliomas are all important theory questions in the examination. They are also asked frequently in the viva. So first coming to retinoblastoma, leukocoria is one of the most important manifestations of the quiescent stage of retinoblastoma. It may be accompanied by ocular deviation. If the patient is in the glaucomatous stage, there may be accompanying redness of the eye, pain and an enlarged glow. Intraocular pressure is raised in the glaucomatous stage. Calcification occurs in 75% of retinoblastomas and is almost pathognomonic. Lactate dehydrogenase activity may be raised in the aqueous relative to the serum level. Now coming to the pseudogliomas, first we shall consider congenital cataract. The lenticular opacity can be seen and a specific pattern as seen in congenital cataracts may be observed. Distant direct ophthalmoscopy in addition to showing opacities in the media can also be used to localize the opacities to the lens. Treatment is by cataract surgery. Persistent hypoplastic primary vitreous is a developmental disorder in which there is a failure of regression of primary vitreous. It is unilateral in most cases and occurs in microphthalmic eyes. A retrolenticular fibrovascular mass is seen into which elongated ciliary processes are inserted. Treatment of anterior PHPV is by lensectomy, excision of the retrolental mass and then vitrectomy. Retinopathy of prematurity is a proliferative retinopathy affecting premature infants exposed to high ambient oxygen concentration. Leukocoria is due to the formation of new vessels in the immature retina with fibrous proliferation to form a retrolental mass. In later stages, the white reflex in the pupil can be due to uh, retinal detachment. Coates disease is a severe form of retinal telangiectasia characterized by massive lipid exudation into the retina and subretinal space leading to exudative retinal detachment. It is usually unilateral and more common in boys. Treatment is by photocoagulation or cryotherapy. Toxocariasis is infestation caused by either Toxocara cani or cati. Leukocoria occurs due to severe vitritis with or without a cyclitic membrane, inflammatory mass or retinal detachment. Treatment is with thiobendazole or albendazole, periocular or systemic steroids for the inflammation and in post-inflammatory complications, vitreoretinal retinal surgery may be required. Coloboma means absence of tissue. A very large retinochoroidal coloboma may appear as a white reflex in the pupil. No treatment is available. Some of the other causes of leukocoria are familial exudative vitreoretinopathy, ocular toxoplasmosis, retinal detachment, Norris disease, incontinentia, pigmentite.